Again, I'm expecting somebody to be around the corner when I know that that... <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Layers of Fear 2! And we are still exploring the ship, getting everything in order, into character, and... and ready for acting! As we are actors! That's what actors do! And, uh... Things are going to get spooky, I just know it. They're just getting started. Yes... Yesterday was a good day to get started, and today is just as good of a day to continue. What am I talking about? From security office to chief security officer, the new procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. Why do I put on some sort of meld of transatlantic accent when I'm reading these? I don't know. It's fun, though. I will say that. Oh, I can crouch in this one. I couldn't crouch. Well, it kind of makes sense that I couldn't crouch in Layers of Fear 1 because, uh, you know, prosthetic leg kind of limits your mobility and ability to maneuver or whatever such BS I'm making up for myself just to keep my mouth running. What? Oh, we've got a key. We take a key. I'm going to turn on the fan because it, it's getting warm in here. It'd be nice and nice and cool. I like a cool breeze every now and then. Ooh. You be leaky. That's not up to code. Why is there a life ring right there? Hmm. The leaky pipe, the life ring, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't instill confidence in the uh, shape of this vessel. Things are not ship shape. Okay, there we go. Needed a key for this door. That's nice. Excuse you. No, thank you. All right. I crouch. Get underneath here. It's a little bit drippy rippy. All right, but it's okay. We can get through and keep exploring and build our character because somehow wandering around an empty boat, ship, cruise liner, whatever the hell this is, I don't care. Hi, rat. I remember you. Um, yeah, build, building character, building up a character for a, to, for a movie role, apparently involve, takes a lot of wandering around. I don't get it either, but, eh, whatever. I'm not in the movie industry. It doesn't need to make sense to me. It just needs to make sense to the character. Isn't that right? Can I stand up, please? Thank you. What's in here? Radio equipment. Ooh, so many buttons to push. <laughs> oh, Morse code. <laughs> I'm t I'm probably just sending such horrible, dirty messages. They're a very flat pair of headphones. I like mine better. They look these ones look way less comfortable than the ones I'm wearing. You can have them. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Um. Can I go? Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna go. I didn't do it. Wasn't me. This looks familiar. And there's you again. What are you? What is that supposed to be? I don't know what that is. I don't like it. All right, hello. Let me in here. Uh, hello? Again, 
I'm expecting somebody to be around the corner when I know that that. I've got the entire ship to myself? Maybe? Hello? I know you want me to come in here and check things out, but I kind of want to check out that other door first. Screw it, whatever. What's in here? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. I'm not going to sing that song. For all I know, it's copyrighted. Paint brushes? Easel? Oh, no. We're not playing that character, are we? That seems a little too strange and convenient. Okay, let's go check out this door. I wanted to check out this door anyway. What's in here? Hello. A bonnet. Ashtray. Typical. Did I just... Okay, that's a mirror, so of course there'd be some kind of a weird... something you see... moving in the... in the frame. Because it's reflection. That's, that's, that's what it is. Ooh, what's that? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Performance for the ages, you say? Acting, if done well, is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact, but become the character you are portraying. Few can muster that kind of courage. And yet, it happens, to which... After last night's visit to the Majestic Theatre, I can personally attest, as my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest critic to please. Having said that, the play's lead performance left me speechless, utterly fearless. The acting by unintelligible name was nothing short of transcendent. It was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. Page torn off. Well, well that's some high praise for my strict critic, I suppose. Oh, I must have done something nice and good, maybe. And maybe I just need to take a poo. I like the water effect. It's nice. The hot water works. Very nice. Can I flush the toilet? Which way do you rotate? You don't. Weird. Never seen a toilet that doesn't swirl the water. Well, I've never been on a cruise ship either, so uh, maybe that's normal. Ooh! A thingy, a collectible. I like it. A slice of life! I wonder what a slice of life tastes like. I've always heard the phrase, I've just never thought about if it had a flavor. What does what does life taste like? I mean, I mean not obviously the cereal tastes good, but like literal life. Probably mostly bitter. Okay, I think I need to go the other way now. Cuz reasons been in there. I've obviously been in there. That door's locked. And I'm gonna go this way and see what all is in this room. Or hallway. Alright. Whatever. I can do it. I can dig it. I like it. I don't like that. Why'd you, why'd you do that? Don't do that. I don't think the ship is haunted, but I don't know that for a fact. I just know that I'm supposed to be alone here, and uh, I'm not entirely sure of that either. All right, all right, just carry on, Montesquieu, carry on. Let's get going and check things out. Whoa. Excuse me? That door's locked. Fine. 
Wait. Why is there smoke rising up? From this particular spot. Why? Should I even bother asking that question? What is this? He's got a reputation. Does he now? Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. It's supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Oh, so it's Stanley Kubrick. <gasps> All right. But what's with the smoke? I know like the smoke. It makes me nervous. Smoke on the boat is not good. You know? Neither is that. What the heck happened? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've seen this before. Don't follow me. What is this? So what if the guy's a little nuts? Yeah. The director. It comes with a job. Yeah, I bet so. What's he gonna do? Kill ya? He might. Some people are crazy like that. All right. What now? What next? What's going on? And it's kind of funny that uh, I mentioned a transatlantic accent and then my, I'm assuming that's the voice of my agent, has a transatlantic accent. It, very fitting! <laughs> Alright. Ooh, something weird is going to happen. I just know it. More smoke, that's never good. Ooh, what's this? An acting mask. All an act. Okay. Oh, I did not do that. That was not me. I didn't do it. Blame Urkel. Roll with the punches. Okay. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Gimme. From Icarus Transatlantic Security Office to all officers. Most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard the vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. <laughs> okay, cool. So, that's very nice of them, I suppose. We're getting the preferential treatment as, uh... Oh, that's a lot of dark. That's a lot of dark, and I'm not comfortable with that just yet. All right, but I suppose we need to press on. So let's just do it. Hi. Hello. Okay. Do I just get up on stage and spin the globe? Yeah. Is it? I'm going sp to keep spinning this guy because it's a nice little uh, topographical globe. <laughs> I'm enjoying this and I'm a little bit afraid of going through that door. But we have to because we must. But we'll do it next time. Anyway, I'm hoping you're enjoying this little adventure that we're on right now. And uh, I hope you come back for more. But in the meantime, if you liked this one, give that like button a bop. It helps me out a ton. And leave some comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll maze.